www.thepodcast.co.uk. So we're here going to do a health check on our guinea pig today. So it's really important to do regular health checks on your animals, but by, by that I mean actually just looking at them, observing them in their enclosure, making sure they look healthy, that there's no signs that they're limping, that their, their coat looks good, that they're eating and drinking normally, that they're pooing and weeing normally. It's all part of checking their health on a regular basis. So you don't need to just be handling them to do a health check. But on a weekly basis, I would say, or possibly every time you, you do a little bit of a handling session, it's a good idea to do a physical health check. So making sure that the guinea pig is physically healthy. So there's things that by feeling you can tell other than things that you can't see. So we're going to look a little bit closer at this guinea pig and we're going to start at the head as you do with all animals and we're going to um, look in the eyes to make sure they're nice and clear. Now, as guinea pigs get older sometimes you do see cataracts occurring where you get a bit of cloudiness on the eye and that's normal but things like bits of bedding, straw, things like that can cause uh, a little bit of conjunctivitis or an infection so any runniness in the eyes should be kept an eye on. You also look at the nose to make sure it's clear and you can check the teeth. Now she's a little bit grumpy today so we're not going to necessarily go too much with her but we would check the teeth nice and gently. Good girl. Uh, she says I'm grumpy. Good girl. That's it. No, 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 no. That's a good girl. So we just check that the teeth are a good length, that they're nice and white, they don't look too bad. They should meet. Sometimes their teeth can get overgrown, so we do need to keep an eye on that. There's nothing, no problems around the mouth. And then we look at the ears. We make sure that there's no signs of any mites. Sometimes when you uh, introduce extra guinea pigs into a, an enclosure they do start to fight and one of their favorite places is to bite the ears so sometimes you see little bites and things like that but her ears are all in very good condition we then look along the body we look at the coat it's in good condition now guinea pigs do get scurvy and that's a deficiency from a deficiency of vitamin C they need that added to their diet to help them keep healthy so if there's any bold spots, any scaliness, that could be a sign. Also look possibly for mites down in the fur. So we look right down to the skin if we can. And we see that that's nice and clear. We also feel down each limb to make sure that they seem okay. And we can see on her paws that her claws do need a little bit of a clip today. So we will do that later. We feel down the body. Now, if she was pregnant, we need to be careful about squeezing around the belly area. I would suggest being as hands off as possible with any pregnant female guinea pigs. But if she's tame, you can gently look at her. Again, we look at the back leg. We make sure that all the claws are there. They again are a little bit long. The leg seems to be moving okay. Now they don't have a tail as such, but we can just tip her up and have a little look at her genitalia. And you can see her teats there as well, making sure that that's all clean and clear. There's no sign of any discharge like pus or like blood. So all in all, this guinea pig is a nice little healthy guinea pig. I've watched her running around in the enclosure, quite happy that she is quite healthy, apart from needing just a little bit of a clip of the claws today.